So I'm literally just putting a little bit of makeup on because one of my New Year's resolutions is to not stay in my pajamas until 12 o'clock because that is a regular <laughs> and I don't know why, I don't know why I've got this habit and do you know what, it just, I feel like I am more productive because I get straight out of bed, make coffee and just work but then at the same time there's just nothing better than being like ready for the day and productive, feeling good and working so yeah, it's now nine o'clock i'm already dressed i've got my gymshark zip up black jacket on this is the elevate one let me show you because these jackets are so handy and i've got on the blue i think these are the adapt animal ones with like the scrunch bum we're ready we're just putting some light makeup on to be honest i don't really wear like loads of makeup but even when i've just got a little bit on i feel more productive I feel better in myself i don't know I don't know about you guys but yeah plan for today is to just really set some intentions for 2023 because today is Thursday and it's New Year's Eve on Saturday night. So when you guys will be watching this video, it will be 2023. So I will post this video next year. So yeah, I wanted to kind of just do this video and, and just go over some things that I'm planning to do for next year. I always like to set myself little goals and stuff to aim for for the following year. So this year I actually made a note on my iPhone of things that I actually wanted to, to achieve and I was going over it the other day. I probably achieved like half of them but I'm quite impressed, I'm quite proud of myself. Some of them were a little bit out of reach so this year I've decided not to set myself ones that are so out of reach. I think that's so important when setting goals that you don't set ones that are just not realistic. Then it can get a little bit a bit unmotivating <laughs> when you don't reach them. So yeah, that's tip number one. So yeah, we'll definitely do that later. And I'm gonna make some delicious recipes because I haven't actually been cooking that much here. Because I'm at my dad's, if you can't tell, this is not my bathroom. So it's quite difficult when you're not living in your own house to like cook your own food. So I completely empathize with you guys that are in the same situation. But today we're gonna be doing some cooking, which I'm excited for, because like I said, haven't done it in ages. And I will show you guys exactly what I make. And there we go. Just a light makeup base because obviously we're gymming, so we don't want like heavy makeup. Good morning. Say morning, everybody. Morning. So he's actually started to walk slash stand, although he's not doing that right now. We'll show you a bit later. What are you doing? So I had full intentions of making some baked oat, but we are running a little bit late and I'm training legs anyway. So I have actually been recently having just carbs before training instead of like baked oats or protein porridge. I'm not sure if that's because I'm being like lazy or maybe I've just been in a rush, but yeah, it's been working like quite well. So I'm just literally just gonna have a bagel before working out. And my favorite are the and raisin. So I normally just have this with some peanut butter and jam or to be honest, just butter on its own, but today we're gonna have peanut butter and jam. Then Kieran and I are gonna head to the gym. The one near us is called LRF and it's a pretty good gym to be fair. I actually really like it. I think I prefer it to the one that I go to in London. But yeah, I'm gonna train legs today. What are you gonna train? Push, oh. chest, shoulders, tries. No leggies today. No leggies today. <laughs> <laughs> Also, my dad's girlfriend bought this and it is genuinely unreal on pancakes or the My Protein mug cake. It's so good. I'll probably show you that later, actually. <laughs> There you go guys there is my pre-workout snack slash breakfast of a cinnamon raisin bagel with peanut butter and jam sometimes it's just the simple things i don't know about you guys but after the christmas period and all of the socializing i am definitely feeling slightly bloated but it's okay because it was all worth it however it's the first day where i am wiping the slate clean and i'm just getting back into a routine again because i'm such a creature of habit so that is why i am doing this video for you guys today so that we can just get back on track together because i 
feel like when you feel a bit rubbish after eating loads of food and drinking loads, the most important thing is that you just draw a line under it and you just kind of set some new goals and plan your week. So I'm not actually gonna be tracking my calories today just because I don't track my calories every day and I want to be just quite realistic with you. Like there's still loads of socializing going on. It's New Year's Eve in a couple of nights. I'm not like fully ready to just get back to tracking calories to be honest, but it's probably something that I'll do next week. I only really track like two, three, four days a week anyway, it's just depending on my week. So we are just intuitive eating today just to kind of feel good and feel my session and just get back into a little bit of a routine. One of the things that I really make sure I do after being off track and just eating loads of food and drinking loads is to drink loads of water. Now, I'm not actually a massive fan of drinking water. I love squash. Like, I will go through so much squash. So, yeah, I'll just have, like, glasses of this today just to kind of, like, flush things out and, like, rehydrate because, obviously, when you drink loads of alcohol, it dehydrates you, so you just need to re... Then you'll feel much better, much quicker. Oh my god! Party! Just <laughs> oh my god, that was so loud! <laughs> you got some power when you party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <come on>. yeah. <laughs> it stinks! Oh, no, am I <laughs> Are you walking? You're getting there! <laughs> I literally look like a little bear. I'm wearing a coat because it is so cold. Actually, I lie. It is 10 degrees, so it is a bit warmer than it has been, but it's still cold. When you go from, like, a heated house to outside, it is freezing, but I'm wearing my new coat that my dad actually bought me for Christmas, and it's so snuggly. Kira's just run in to get us some drinks for the gym because we would had nothing at home, and he is obsessed with white monsters, and apparently that's what he needs to have a good session. So I'm just waiting for him, but, yeah, I'm really excited to just get back into training, to be honest because Christmas, your training just never really goes that well, which is fine, like, it's great to have some time off. I always feel after some time off, I'm just really motivated to just get back to it and smash it. Recently, I've actually been following my program that I've put on my own app, by the way, so if you want to do it as well, you can sign up and it will just be there. But I created, like, a hot girl wins challenge, and I've got two months of it now, so two 28-day programs, and I'm loving it. I'm doing the second one at the moment. So in today's workout, we've got some barbell hip thrusts, single leg extensions, goblets, squats dumbbell rdls it's gonna be a good session i think you got your white monster yep did we're back get, in the game did you get me a water oh my god how big is that i asked for a small <laughs> water like they don't what? do small no, i've got a bottle here you they must do a small so water there you go. okay so the workout we're actually gonna be doing today i've just found it are b stance bell bell hip thrust but i might swap them for on the machine just because this gym it's quite hard to set up a hip thrust and I don't have my pad with me, so we'll do that. Then we've got hamstring curls, Smith machine sumo squats with narrow squats, Bulgarian split squats, and then we are finishing off with some sideline extra abduction leg raises. Are you gonna do that session? Nope. There you go. So hip press done, I got up to 90 kilos, but I have been doing 100 on there recently, but today, just feel lethargic, but that's okay, like it's so normal after having loads of chocolate and treats and not training for a wee. But I've just done a warm up set on the hamstring curl, and I have actually been getting up to 100 kilos on that, which I'm really happy about. Just literally done a warm up set, so we'll see if we can get up to 100 kilos today. I'm doing three times 15 reps. Okay, so I did 12, but that's still pretty good. Um, I normally aim for kind of between 10 to 15 on the hamstring curl anyways. And because I've done a heavier weight, it's okay if I slightly drop the reps, but we'll keep trying. Feel okay, just feel like tired to this, but we're getting it done. Like the first session is always your hardest back. So if you're putting it off, just go and get it done because you'll only feel better after it.
had a really good session actually. I finished it off with some Bulgarian split squats and then clams. The whole workout you can find here. It is on Elevate and let me tell you, it is a killer. I didn't actually go heavy on the Smith machine squats because my back is not great. So yeah, I just went light just to kind of get that movement pattern back because I've been sat down so much recently and it's really affected my back. So yeah, I'm trying to like warm up properly, stretch as you saw, I like stretch, foam rolled, use band. Yeah, hopefully it will be a little bit better soon. And I just wanted to show you what I picked up from Sainsbury's because I literally did a mini shop from today, which is Thursday to Sunday, so four days. Um, I didn't pick up too much because we do have quite a lot left over from Christmas, but I will show you what I got. Okay, so I found these and I was like, I need these. These look really good, like, I don't know. <laughs> they probably don't taste as good as they look, but I got these as a snack. We have an onion um, and then a taco mix because tonight we're going to be making beef wraps, which I'm excited about. I literally love burritos. So we're doing like a beef kind of version. We've got some wraps. These are the best, best ones, the mission ones. They fold the best. The own brand isn't so great. We've got some bacon, frink um, bacon sprinkles, bacon flavor sprinkles. This is to go on my lunch. I'm making a chicken pasta salad. We've got some low fat beef mints. And then I picked up these. These are so good if you're craving pizza. Per pizza, there are 431 calories. It's insane. So I get these because every time I'm in there, I'm like, oh God, it feels like a treat, but it's literally just pizza. Yeah, it says serves one at 12 grams of fat for the whole pizza. You can always add on like extra chicken if you want it to be more high protein. So Karen and I are gonna have a pizza night. Arthur got some dog treats, which he has just eaten. And then I've got some low fat Philadelphia because we're gonna be making some low cow cheesecakes. Then some pasta because I'm feeling really lazy and want to eat quickly. So I've got this for lunch. And then just some black pepper croutons because this is also going to go on my lunch. So for lunch, we're going to be making a chicken pasta salad, which I have been obsessing over recently. It is so good. It's so quick and easy. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. I am cooking a little bit more chicken than usual just because Kieran wants me to cook it as a separate thing. So if I'm cooking loads of chicken, that is why. And this is how you make my chicken pasta salad. And this recipe serves two. I'll make sure I put all of the ingredients below so you guys can also make it. Chicken is cooking, we've got the pasta boiling. Then I've just chopped up my cucumber and tomatoes. We've also gonna add some bacon sprinkles, black pepper croutons, and some light mayo. So I'm just adding two tablespoons of low fat mayo. Then we're gonna add the cooked chicken. And we'd give that a little bit of a mix. Lastly, I'm just gonna add in the tomatoes and the cucumber. Delish. And there we go, guys. There is my chicken salad with cucumber, tomato, bacon sprinkles, and mayo. Super quick and easy, and honestly, tastes delish. This would be so easy to meal prep because obviously, you could just eat it cold. This honestly looks so good. Sorry, guys, the light is really bad here, but. How good does that look? Looks insane. And yes, I'm still eating pasta even after having a really heavy few days. Pasta is not the enemy. Carbs are fuel. And we've just done a really big leg session. So I need to refill myself. I need to fill myself up because otherwise, if I don't fill myself up, I will just snack. And I will snack on lots of good stuff. So. Mm. Okay, so you know I was talking about setting goals and intentions for the next year. Well, I wanted to read out to you some of the goals that I have set myself. I call it a vision board. So I said that I made a 2022 goal kind of slash vision board. Well, I did. And I definitely achieved some of them. Some of them were like financial, some of them were in the gym, some of them were business involved, some of them were like in my personal life. One of them was to buy my mum a designer handbag and I did that for Christmas. So yeah, just like a few silly things like that. And then like I said, some of them just weren't achievable at all. So one of them was a 200 kilo hit for us. I don't know who I was when I set myself that goal because that was never gonna happen. <laughs> I don't know really because my hip thrust one week I'll be really good and then the next just not great at all so 
I'm gonna set myself a goal of 150 kilos for the next year. And that's with the barbell. And that's like over reps as well. That's not just like one rep, by the way. That is like for like eight to 10 reps. So that's gonna be my goal with that. But a few other goals I've set just to kind of give you guys some inspiration. So total amount of followers on Instagram. So I've said that I wanna reach 400K followers on Instagram. I want to buy a house with Kieran. That's one of our goals. I want to have 400K followers on TikTok. And then 35K on YouTube. <laughs> Come on guys. <laughs> um, and then a few other things like business ones and then a really cute one was for my little dog Arthur to walk again. And I'm also gonna set some gym ones. So I said 150K hip thrust. I want to do consistently 180 kilo leg press because I've done 160 like a few times but sometimes I don't really like push myself that much in a session so I just want to keep on pushing myself to be honest and then other things that I really want to work on is just like being more consistent and also just enjoying things and not kind of like over stressing because I feel like sometimes I'm like I want to do this and that and this and then it just like takes the fun out of it so that's like another thing and I always always try to aim for 8k steps a day at least and that's like doable for me because 10k in the summer is really doable for me but at the moment in the winter it's just just not like living in the countryside at my dad's house I just don't walk so that's going to be like my minimum kind of step goal but yeah I literally can't stress enough how I loved ticking off like all my goals that I'd done this year it was so motivating and it felt so good knowing that I'd achieved some of them so if you haven't done one yet definitely go and make yourself one of those it can literally just be on your notes on your iPhone so it doesn't have to be complicated at all oh my goodness look at me all right, so it is actually half five, but because I am living in my dad's house at the moment, he's coming home and he's cooking with his girlfriend. So I need to cook before they come home. <laughs> so for dinner tonight, we are making beef burritos. Now, Kieran is obsessed with anything with minced beef in, so I thought I'd do something that included that and it's super easy to cook and super easy to eat as well. So we're making beef burritos with beef mince. Then we're gonna add like taco seasoning. So I just use this for ease, to be honest. I don't know, I'm lazy. <laughs> Any taco seasoning will do. We're gonna fry off the beef with an onion, add in the seasoning, and then we're just basically going to put it all into a wrap. I'm also gonna add like cheese into the wrap and some lettuce and also some rice. So it'll be like a big burrito. I might put it in the air fryer to make it crispy or I might not. I'll just see how I feel. Um, but yeah, you can actually air fry wraps and they come out so well. So yeah, if you haven't done that before, then definitely try it. Um, I might try and do it this evening. So this is how you make it. Because I'm starving. Beef is nearly cooked. I've literally just used that taco seasoning mix with 150 ml of water. That's pretty really good. Okay, so now it is time to assemble our beef burritos. So what I'm going to do is add some rice to the bottom of a wrap, followed by some cheese and a bit of lettuce, and then some of the beef mixture. Fold it all in and then I'm actually gonna pan fry it. I'm not gonna air fry it because I've put lettuce in it. So I don't really want the lettuce to go like too soggy. That will make it go crisp on the outside and not too cooked on the inside. <laughs> that look so good and there we go guys that i there is my beef burrito which honestly took no time at all what do you rate it seven eight point six oh that's quite high for you I like but you do burritos. like beef i'll put the ingredients list below so you can make it are you comfy not you <laughs> oh my god i'm so full um that dinner was absolutely delish but i'm in my bathroom because i'm literally about to just run myself a bath and wind down for the evening but i wanted to chat to you guys just quickly about kind of setting goals in 2023 and just making sure that you're not being like too hard on yourself it's so important just to remember that rome was not built in a day guys <laughs> 
it literally wasn't. It takes so long to see results and get somewhere. And the most important thing is that you just don't give up. I'm just taking my makeup off with this LMS. Honestly, I am addicted to this stuff. Quite literally. It is so good. It just kind of like melts off your makeup. I, I don't know, I just can't really describe it. It's just the best thing ever. I always used to use micellar water. And before that, I always used to use makeup wipes. Makeup wipes, by the way, are the biggest con. They are such a waste of money. They don't even get your makeup off. They like swipe it around. And this actually like gets it off properly. And it leaves your face like just feeling amazing. So once I've done that, I'll just get a warm flannel and then I'll just take the rest off. So yeah, as I was saying, set yourself goals, but don't set them too like unrealistic. And the same thing goes for actually getting back on track like post Christmas or even like just post weekend of having a lot of food. Don't just kind of throw yourself in the deep end, just take small steps. And just remember that it might take a week or so to kind of get back on track, but that's okay. Like a week is literally nothing. And after the first week, it becomes so much more easier and you can just slowly like build habits every single day, which will just become even more of a habit. Makeup off. Now I'm literally just gonna run at bath and soak. I am obsessed with baths in the winter time, by the way. In the summer, I don't have them, but winter time it's like every single night because just like a nice 20 minutes just to relax. Kieran literally takes like an hour in the bath and I don't know how he does it. Cause I just, once I get really hot, I have to get out. I don't know what it is. I'm the same in like spas. Just can't do it all sauna, shall I say. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope that you can take away something from it. And I hope that it kind of gives you a little bit of motivation and advice for moving forward after Christmas and obviously into the new year. If you have any questions or if you want any help with anything, then honestly, just comment below. Please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel and let me know what you want to see more of. If you're going into the new year, I would love to do anything that you guys kind of suggest, obviously within my kind of realm. But thanks for watching and I'll see you at the same time next week. Bye bye.